I know it's a bold claim, but today I'll be showing you the best build in Cyberpunk 2077. Now look, you can burn me as a heretic later, but hear me out first. I've tested countless powerful builds and even delved the depths of Reddit for everyone's go-to guns, but believe me when I say the build that we'll be looking at today knocks the pants off all of them. And it isn't particularly close. So here's the question. Do you want to down the max tech team on very hard without breaking a sweat? Would you like to be able to cause such carnage that the police simply give up and let you obliterate half the city? Do you want a build so overpowered that it makes even the Death Star jealous? Well, get comfy on the couch and welcome to the hangout. Let's jump into this, shall we? And CDPR, please, I beg you, please don't nerf this build. Don't take the precious from me. Now, like any good overpowered build, we're of course going to be playing on very hard to show this off. And if you've watched the last video on the channel, you may recognize where we are because this is the same save file. See, in the last video, we showed off this gun here called the Rosetsu, and it was pretty powerful. In fact, we dropped our cyber psycho friend here in about like three or four shots, something like that. That's all well and good, but an overpowered gun does not a build make. But for those who didn't see that video, here's a quick summary. We went all in on technical ability first and then went into cool. This being because we were using a tech rifle and with a sniper rifle and a tech weapon, cool and technical ability are going to be what you're going into. And now we're also going into some body, but that's more for what we're going to be doing in this video. So stay tuned for that. But as you can see, we're level 36. By level 41, we're going to have 15 in body as well. But as good as the Rosetsu is, we need a gun that can deal with the more up-close and personal problems that we're going to be having. So let me introduce you to my very best friend that was long lost in Update 2.0, but CDPR was kind enough to let it be the gun it used to be. Let me show you what I'm talking about. What you're going to want to do is come over to Haywood and over to the Glen here in Haywood, and you'll find that there's a little weapon shop down here. It's unassuming at first, but this gentleman just so happens to have the crafting spec for the DR-12 Quasar. Now, we're level 36, so it's spawning at Legendary. I believe this is just dependent on what level you are, but we're definitely going to buy the crafting spec for the DR-12 Quasar. Also of note, when you're buying anything from gun shops, you're going to want to also pick up as many supercharger mods as you can, because we're going to want to get enough of those to craft a legendary version. More on that one later. Now, the Quasar might seem a little unassuming at first. I mean, it, it has a decent power output, as you can see here. I mean, that guy, it wasn't that bad trying to take him down. I mean, after all, he was a red skull. But it, it's still, it's, it's a handgun. It has a charge up time. Sure, that's that's a decent power output, but it doesn't seem like it's that powerful, right? Well, you see, that's where the rest of the additions to the gun come in. So if you play Phantom Liberty, you'll have to kill the Chimera pretty early on, and that's gonna give you a Chimera Core. With the Chimera Core, you can craft one of these mods, and we're definitely going for Wall Puncher. More on that in just a second. But since I've also been buying a lot of superchargers, we have enough to be able to craft a tier five supercharger. What this means is that with Wall Puncher, we can now charge our tech guns, which the Quasar is, to 200% capacity with 100% armor penetration with no penalty for penetrating cover. Yeah, that's that's pretty darn powerful. But above that, we also get plus 20% charge speed and less stamina cost for shooting. So this gun on paper is starting to sound pretty powerful, but I don't just want you to believe me. Let's stack it up against a couple guns that I've seen people claim as their favorite powerful guns in the game. This gun is the Hawk. It's a fan favorite. It's quite powerful. So let's stack it up against these gentlemen and see how we do here. Okay, got some good damage output. Okay, to be fair, let's not judge the Hawk too harshly. I also suck at aiming. So it's not all the gun's fault, but okay, there we go. Dropped three guys. Wasn't that hard, but eh. Wasn't that quick either. Let's try a different gun. This is the Aku, or Ogu, or Aju, I guess. You know, whatever, I'm not gonna be able to pronounce it. You guys know that by now. Anyway, this has been claimed to be one of the more powerful smart weapons in the game, so let's see how it does against these gentlemen. Okay. I, I gotta be honest with you, I'm not sure I could ever use this gun uh, legitimately because it just doesn't sound like a gun. It sounds like I'm spitting at them and I'm not sure that I could ever handle that. But as you can see, eh, roughly the same amount of time to drop these guys, maybe a little bit slower than the Hawk, but not much of a difference. Well, let's try this with the Quasar now. All right, same as before with the Quasar. And they're dead. That is the difference. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. It's just not even comparable. Comparable? How do you guys say? I don't know. It's not even close. They were dead in moments. This gun is ridiculously more powerful, especially if you have things like Bolt, which are all part of the build that we were showing. But at this point, we're a glass cannon, so all we need now is just to round out this build. We've got the power output, now we just need to stop being so squishy. Enter the cyberware. Now, in order to show you the cyberware, I have to show you the build here just real quick. The reason we went into 15 body is so that we could get ourselves to Adrenaline Rush level two. That's gonna give us better max health and better health regen. It's gonna help us be a better tank. The reason we want the max health is because we're also going into edge runner so that we can get more cyberware capacity. Now, if you do this at a higher level, you may not need edge runner as much, but to do it at level 41, we're going to be using edge runner to get there. As you can see, we're also using things like Cellular Adapter, and you can kind of look through the list of perks if you want to see anything else here. It's kind of standard stuff for a tech sniper revolver kind of build, but you can see the perks we're going into if you'd like. That brings us to the Cyberware, which is why you're going to want to go to the Ripper Docks in Dogtown. The reason is because these guys have a crap ton of iconic Cyberware. So here's our Cyberware. For our operating system, you see we don't have a deck, we actually have Chrome Compressor. This is gonna give us a lot of cyberware capacity. From before, we still have our Cockatrice Optics. We have our Immovable Force to help reduce recoil. We have Electromag Recycler. This is going to give us health and stamina when we hit enemies with a fully charged tech weapon, which is the only way you want to use the Quasar anyway, so this is just straight up amazing. We also have Chitin and Rara Avis. Basically, we're just stacking armor upon armor upon armor on ourselves. As you can see, we also have Cellular Adapter and Pain Editor, as well as some other standard things that you can get at pretty much any other Ripper dock but these iconic ones you're only getting in dogtown this means we have 1561 armor which negates roughly about 60 percent damage in other words we're no longer a glass cannon we are now a titanium cannon but i think that means it's time to test the build you see in 2.0 they introduced this new mechanic where if you reach a max wanted status with the police they spawn the max tac team on you now, when the Max Tax team spawns, they're supposed to kick the ever-loving crap out of you. However, I have a feeling that that might not be what happens with this build. So let's go kick off one heck of a big fight. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Kurt Hansen's hotel base thing. I don't know, whatever the heck this is. It's got a lot of military around it. So this is a good place as any to kick off a fight while we build up our wanted level. Let's uh, get into this, shall we? All right, he's gone. I think there's a sniper up this direction somewhere. Oh yeah, there he is. I know there's someone shooting me directly in my cheeks, but um, I kind of wanted to get that sniper, so. All right, so far so good. We've got like an entire alleyway of guys coming and most of them are now dead. That's good. Oh yeah, this gun's been shooting me this entire time. <laughs> Whoops, probably should have gotten that. As you can see, I uh, have quite a lot of wiggle room to make some mistakes here and uh, not die. Oh, I guess I didn't kill this sniper yet. Oh, well, now he's gone. Gotta love it when you crit on the very last shot. All right, well, that was not really all that difficult. As you can see, we still have all of our health charges. Our health is doing fine. This has not been very hard so far. And the great thing is we still have the Rosetsu for things like this. Oh, well, okay, well. In theory, we have the reset suit for things like this. I don't know why that wasn't hitting. Well, you got me. By all accounts, it doesn't make sense. And all these guys way down range. Yeah, that's not going to be a problem for this build. Oh, what's that coming from? Oh, hey, there's people behind us. It's great with this build that you could be being shot by someone for about 17 seconds before you have to acknowledge that they exist. I swear, this place is supposed to be an intimidating military base, but, um,. Yeah, with this build, it's 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 just not. Oh, that's a civilian, I think. Whoops, my bad. Not classy. Not classy at all. Day class A. There goes another mech. Oh, there's a guy over here. What do you know? Now, the bad part about all this is that I've been wiping out this military base, but um, haven't really been doing anything the police are that upset about. Which I guess tells you what their opinion of Kurt Hansen is, but that's a story for another day, I guess. But this is all well and good, but I need to start uh, focusing on getting this Mac Tech team called in. 
So let's head out street level, shall we? There we go, here's some police. Well, the Dogtown equivalent. You have shotgun, I have DR-12 Quasar, I win. I really hope CDPR does not nerf this build, because I love it. It is, it is just so fun. And for those wondering, again, I'm actually really happy that you can get this powerful in the game, because it just shows you that if you put some effort into a build, they will reward you. As you can see, we're getting pretty close here. Oh, please don't, oh shoot. Well, that's, that's the one counter is running us over with a car. That's still pretty effective against us. You can see the benefits definitely of this being a tech gun because we're still shooting. Oh shoot, please don't kill me, please don't kill me. I mean, run me over, it wouldn't kill me, but same thing. But you can see the benefits of this being a tech gun because I can hit people through cover. That's one of my favorite things about the tech weapons is even if they're in cover, I still don't really have to aim. It's like a match made in heaven for me. And there we go, level five. Max tech should be here any moment. Did I say max tech? I meant max tech. Eh, whatever. Ah, oh, there we go. Welcome, boys. Let's kick this off, shall we? I find that against boss type enemies, it's actually more powerful to go with a Rosetsu. We just did quite a bit of damage. Now, I don't know which ones we were hitting because we were just kind of targeting anybody. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> One shot and their Netrunner's already down quite a bit. That's pretty good. Ah, hello, Mr. Opera. Okay, well, the Assault guy's gone. Now, here we've got our Netrunner. I don't know how many bullets to get him to stop hacking me, but apparently that was the number right there. This heavy guy's coming in on us pretty hard. That's not very friendly of you, sir. This net runner we're going to want to keep on top of just because he wants to hack us constantly, which is quite rude, but I guess it's his job or whatever. Ooh, they really shouldn't have left you alone, buddy boy. This was a poor strategic decision on your part. All right, now we got the heavy. Let's get the heavy out of here. Oh boy, look at this guy melt. Yeah. The, the heavy is not going to be long for this world. And there he goes. Now we just have the sniper left, I believe. And I'll be honest, I don't even know where he is. By the way, if you're wondering if you've beaten the Max Tech team, um, just wait until they spawn another one and you know that you beat the first one. Finally, they've got us down to uh, no healing items, so at least they've made some progress. You know, good on them. But where is this sniper? I think he's down here. I'm not sure where the Max Tech sniper is, if I'm being honest. That guy looked at my mom wrong, so, you know, he had to go. Where is the sniper? Ah, there he is. Awesome. All right, the sniper, he's not going to be the hardest when we get close range with him, as you can probably tell. He can hurt like a, like a real son of a gun, but there it is. <laughs> so as you can see, that is the entire Max Tech team down, and it really wasn't that hard. This build on very hard difficulty, the entire Max Tech team completely obliterated. So yeah, Kurt Hansen's entire military base and the Max Tech team, and we still didn't break a sweat. I think it's safe to say that this is the most overpowered build in Cyberpunk 2077. Now I gotta ask, do you have any builds that you think top this one? If you do, you've got to tell me about it in the comments. I really wanna see what you guys come up with. And while you're down there to comment, you might as well subscribe and leave a like on the video. Now if you wanna see the part of the build where I show off the mighty Rosetsu, you should definitely click here. I'll catch you for the next hangout, everybody. Have a great day, and goodbye.